Welcome to this game design, environments using ZBrush, Substance and Unity course. So you'll learn to create environments for game inside ZBrush, you'll learn to paint inside Substance Painter, and export and import into and out of ZBrush and Substance Painter. Now during this course we're going to be finally finishing this, so this will be our final environmental set. Now along the way we will be creating individual rocks and there's two tutorials on that, one for creating this rock and one for creating this rock here. So along the way again we will be actually importing and exporting and creating our assets inside of ZBrush and the main programs that we're going to be using during this course is going to be ZBrush then we're going to be using Photoshop as well and we're going to be using Substance Painter to texture this main environment and add all the roughness and reflections inside of that. We're also going to be using Unity and put this whole thing together as well as creating a particle system and a first person shooter as well. So we'll be creating this particle system here and we will be creating a person that can walk through this scene as well. So let me just show you that. So here's the actual scene with the first person shooter in here. Uh, and we can obviously walk through this scene like this. And look around the scene as well. So this course is aimed for beginners. Um, but intermediates and advanced users might gain useful information from this if you don't use things like uh, Unity or Substance Painter. Uh, along the way, we're also going to be previewing this in Marmoset Toolbag Free, but it's not a prerequisite for the course. And we're also going to be looking at scaling and using the GOS tool from ZBrush to Maya as well. But again, that's not a prerequisite. If you've got that program, you can. So the main tools that you will be using and are a requisite for this course is ZBrush, definitely Photoshop, definitely Substance Painter and Unity. So those are the four programs that you will kind of need to follow along. Now, Unity is free anyway. And... Um, and I guess you're going to have Photoshop if you're doing any kind of 3D modeling. So that's two programs you're definitely going to have. The other one, of course, is ZBrush, which you're doing the course. So I suggest you've got that. And Substance Painter if you want any kind of cool um, painting on your model, then you're going to want Substance Painter as well. So I hope you enjoy this course. I cover a hell of a lot. Um, just to highlight a few of the things that I'm going to be covering, I'm going to be reading you the course uh, curriculum that I've got here. So we're going to be, during this course, we will explore many techniques for creating game environments, in this case, Rocky Terrain Set. I will show you in detail how to model, map, paint, export your game-ready assets from ZBrush. Along the way, we will look at painting using Substance Painter and also how to export the new maps out of Substance. We will look at Maya and scaling as well as the GOS feature of ZBrush. Not only that, will we also look at Marmoset as well as the end goal to bring these assets into Unity and create a game set. Now, I'm going to be creating a particle system as well. That's that mist that you saw. So just to go through a little bit of the curriculum here, the miscellaneous things are reference gathering, scaling in Maya, and an overview of the course. In ZBrush, we're gonna create set creation, goes from ZBrush to Maya, texture as well as texturing from Photoshop, creating tileable textures, UV mapping and UV mapping via polygroups, creating low poly models, exporting from ZBrush to Substance and baking all of our maps, multi-map exporter within ZBrush, we'll be showing you how to use that as well in case you haven't got Substance Painter. We will work on a rock as well as a complete set. Well, I'm actually working on two rocks. And we are going to be inside the Substance Painter, baking maps exported from ZBrush. So we'll be baking maps from exported models from ZBrush. And painting our set, creating roughness metallics in Substance, looking at the base basic navigation and shelves and exporting from Substance to bring into Unity. 
Now within Marmoset Toolbag, we will look at how we can sort of preview our uh, maps that we create from ZBrush or from Substance. Now in Unity, uh, we're going to be, in the last part of the course, we will import all our assets, apply the materials to the set, scale and arrange, a quick set extension, add mist to the scene using particle systems, add a skybox, add a collider, stop our uh, person from dropping through the scene, and again we'll be adding a person so we can actually look around the scene or the set in real time. Right, so this course is a primer for my more detailed workshops coming out later in the year and should give you a good understanding of game modelling. With that in mind, the course is targeted to intermediate level modelers and can be considered a next step in your evolution as a game designer. So I really hope you take this course because it is a really good one. Um, I'm going to be doing the more detailed workshops and they're going to be moving along quite quickly. Although saying that this course moves along at quite a rate. There's a lot to cover and because I'm breaking out from side to side, it's not a linear course where I'm going from A to B. It's kind of like A and then A <laughs> then A, B, C, D. I'm, I'm moving all over the place because uh, I'm showing you also how to export stuff out using ZBrush solely and also how to export out to bake maps in Substance Painter. You know, I'm showing you about scaling in Maya. So I'm jumping around a lot, but it's traveling all in the right direction. So the whole point of this course is to open you up to different ways of working. So whatever level you're at, you will find use in this course um, and if you're new to this you might might find loads of new things and oh god I can do it that way I can do it this way oh I can do that I can do this I don't have to do it in that order I can do it in this order so by um, really kind of hitting it at all angles I think I'm opening your mind to new opportunities and new ways of thinking and it's really important in 3D modeling that you actually think outside the box and you create your own workflows so I'm trying to kind of get you to to work in a kind of bi-linear way. Instead of working down a complete pipeline, I want you to be able to pick that pipeline up at any stage and be able to mod that to make it work for you. So don't get pigeonholed in working from A to B. Uh, any sort of creative work is going back on things, going back, going forwards, jumping a step, coming back to that. And then you can create the best. And obviously, we're using lots of programs here. And I'm trying to open you up to the fact that professionally, you're working with maybe six or seven different programs. And you're combining these. You're taking the best of some programs and you know the best of other programs. And you're making those work for you. And that should help you in your modeling for the future. So I really hope you enjoy this course. I've had a lot of fun making it. And I hope to see you in the course and, yeah, learning. So as usual, uh, inside of my courses, I have a bonus section where I tell you about my Facebook group. So if you want to know more about, um, you know, and ask questions or join the community, you have access to my Facebook group as well. It's a closed course. So many people that are buying this course will have access to it or well, buying this course or my other courses. So you can ask any question on any, any of the courses that I've created and I will try and answer them for you. There's a lot of members in there that are answering other questions for other people so it's very cool. Uh, it's a nice place to hang out and uh, you can ask whatever you like. Don't think that asking silly questions is a bad idea because it's not. It's a good idea to ask questions. If you're not sure about anything then ask via my Facebook group but hopefully I'll see you in this course where we'll create this really cool effect and as you can see I've got a skybox in there as well so you've got a lovely environment as well hanging around so hopefully I'll see you in the course and yeah I look forward to seeing you creating fantastic pieces of artwork